how do you see these vehicles getting cleaned? How do you see them getting managed? Because if I put my Tesla out on the network, I don't want to have it come back with puke or a McDonald's bag. How do you see the plumbing working? You're right. And I think, and we have been early on this and there has been subsequent dialogue. I think more people are catching on to this as an opportunity. As we all know, Uber and Waymo are using third parties uh, to do this maintenance. In Tesla's case, like, and, and again, when we look at the, some of those third parties, I'll give an example, Terawatt. You talk to Terawatt, who is a Waymo partner, like the, the primary issue for them is finding power and getting power to a location. We've addressed this on past podcasts. What does Tesla do best? <laughs> like the supercharging network is far surpasses anyone in the market. So now you're just effectively layering in, in, in many cases, some cleaning capability. So the way this will work is Tesla will own that service layer. And in the future, when you privately own your Tesla and you send it out for, you know, to get some revenue for that per privately owned Tesla that you own, it will stop in a Tesla service center and be cleaned, potentially refueled if you want it, repower, recharged before it returns to your home or whatever location uh, that you may have. 